Hey everyone, it is Specs SS7. I'm here with another tutorial video. This time it is a game tutorial, not like some of the previous ones that I've done for uh, FL, not FL Studio, um, OBS, and a couple of the other programs that I use to record. But what is happening is with the new Warcraft uh, 7.2 patch, they introduced order mounts. Well, I looked for uh, guides, I guess you could say, for the rogue mount because I was kind of curious to see how other people had taken the job that I'm doing right now on the screen. And I saw that everything was from the Horde perspective, and I'm an Alliance player, so it wasn't quite the same. I mean, maybe it was, but I wanted to see from our side. So what I ended up doing for this particular uh, one was I followed the guy and the golem around a bit. And before I started recording this, I died, I think, three times trying to figure this out. The golem mid one shots you roughly and kind of, it's just, it's, it's bad news bears, all around bad news. So what I did was I followed him around and I paid attention this time to what uh, Lillian Voss had said. She said to separate him from the golem. So I said, okay, we'll distract. I tried distract several times and I died. So I found that the area right here that I came to, uh, this clearing for us, was one of the better places to do it. And as you saw, I'm you know 895 on this rogue. It's not like I'm crazy geared, but I'm geared enough that this isn't too much problem. And what I did was I used distract and ta-da, used my kill Jaden's trinket and he died. If you don't have kill Jaden's trinket, it may be a little more tough, but I'm sure that there's going to be a way you can burst it down and make it easier. So after doing that, I decided it was probably best just to sneak out of the town um, because, you know, I really just wanted to get out of Silver Moon. I wish that it's one of those places that you could kind of mount up and fly, but this, just like the Exodar, you can own not really do much. And I think that Blood Elf there was going to try and find me, but it's not that bad. This is on a normal server too, by the way. Um, I play on Moonguard. Alright, so now that I'm almost out of the city, I figure the next place to go is going to be what Undercity is what she had said. So we head to Undercity, and this uh, one coming up for the Undercity was actually... Um, I'm not going to say it was difficult, but I did die a couple of times because of dumb things, as you will see here coming up. So once we get out of Silver Moon here completely, I will cut the video a bit so that you guys get to see me more going to said place instead of the travel that it took to get there. Because let's be real, you guys don't want to watch me ride across Ghostlands and this place and then fly all the way over to Undercity, right? Alright, so what we did was we went to the west side of Undercity where you get in through the back entrance and this proved to be the place for rogues for to get the least resistance. I mean, the Alliance, the res least resistance is where we usually invade from. But you go in here and you were to head down and once you get inside of this Undercity you can find your target there. You open it up on the map and she'll pop up and it'll say this is where it is. However, there was a slight trick to it uh, which I did not learn the first time I did this. It was kind of like, oh crap. Sorry about the pause. I was typing something in guild. I think we were talking about class mounts or something at the time and how some of our guildies really felt uh, that the priest and the hunter mounts were not up to snuff for their characters. It was kind of funny to watch them fight and cry over it. Anyhow, here we come. There is a second balcony here to get to this lady. Um, I like to mark my targets in case I, for whatever reason, lose them. It's easier for me just to track because now she's got a, some marks. Some people can use whatever they want. The best place that I actually found to do it is right here. However, I decided to try my luck here. And as you will find out... These guards and people completely ignore Vanish. So, 
this left a, uh, a dilemma. How do we get out of here when they ignore Vanish, right? So what's going to be the best tact here for that? So what I did was I came back, decided, hey, let's give this another try, another go. Let's kind of wait for the guards to go away, you know, typical thing. If you don't want to fight them if you don't have to. Make them the clear. Yeah, nope, sure isn't. And I hit vanish again, and look it. I'm still under attack, and I'm still being attacked and chased by a guard, even though I hit vanish. Okay, well, Night Elf, let's hit Shadow Meld. Ignores it again. So, your typical ways of doing this is not going to be... Like your escape routes aren't going to work. So if you have to fight the guards, I'll, uh, hopefully learn from my mistake by watching what I do to complete this next. You won't have to go through the headache that I did and the deaths and other things like that. So I figured, hey, let's eat. I'm going to stealth here. Wait. And I think I end up pulling something else because from across the freaking room. But anyway, uh, I play outlaw, by the way, if you can't tell. I'm an outlaw rogue. Then roll the bones. All right, so once we get this person squared off, heal up, and I will be up at the top and show you exactly uh, the best spot to kill this person at. Mmm, nom nom, versatility food. It's like Rogue's best best thing right there. At least if you're playing Outlaw, there's a debate between mastery and uh, versatility. I typically eat the versatility food, though I'm going to start switching to mastery stuff here soon because uh, I think that's going to end up being the better stat in the long run. Alright, so back up we go. And mark her again. I mean, yeah, it shows red, but for me it's just a visual guide thing. And so I'll, while I'm standing here, I'm thinking, are there any guards right here? No, there are no guards here. So here's what we do. We're going to roll up here, and if you stop where I'm at right now, and she patrols around. She can patrol right up to here because when you attack her, you're going to get all of the people attacking you, not just her. So, booyah, sap, see if she has anything. She had nothing of value other than a couple copper, burst down, run for the hills, get the hell out of there. Try to vanish, cheat death goes, no dice. So, as you can see, couple tries a few different times uh, three I guess you could say vanish didn't work so after the graveyard run skip that so you don't have to see and I believe I had to wait for a, a horde to leave so that I could actually mount and fly away the next place they send us to is uh, thunder totem and the one in thunder totem not thunder totem that's the current content thunder bluff um, took a little bit of uh, I, I'm not going to say a little bit of thought. I actually had a guildie mention something beforehand, and they said, oh, before you go here, pickpocket the torrent. I'm like, what, why? He's like, just trust me. I'm like, okay. So I took his advice, and I'm going to kind of show it off and share it with you guys. And I set my hearthstone to Pandaland, too. I have my dollar on one, I have Pandaland, and then my garrison, because portals, right? And I forgot about this load screen. But at least the artwork's cool. It's got like a Thor's hammer, giant sword, almost like a Final Fantasy level sword or something from Bleach. Ah, oh, there we go. So, hello, Panda. Panda, Panda, Panda. I actually love the Pandaren. Had to kind of vendor some stuff, repair, because... I hadn't repaired, and I was like, well, I probably should do that before I uh, go do this next one, because I died a handful of times. So, going on, moving on, I took the portal to Darnassus. Uh, that's, that was the closest one. I mean, if you're in Stormwind, you could take the one to Oldham. Uh, if you have a mage friend that can plop you out in Theramore, that's close. But since I was in Pandaland, Darnassus was going to be the closest flight path to get to uh, Thunder Totem, Thunder Bluff. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of this expansion. Um, yeah. Oh, and they updated uh, Gallywix to look like this model. So that's kind of awesome. The one that's on that load screen. He used to be just the typical dude chilling in the little spider crab mecha, and now he's the fat one. It's kind of nice. But 
Oh, pretty Darnassus. Such purple. Wow. Alright, so I did take the flight path. I went to the Barrens, just because the Barrens one down there was the closest one that I had. You probably could go to any other one, but that's just where I decided to take it. And we're going to speed through after I go to that, so that way you guys don't see the flight path. I think it took like five, almost ten minutes to get there from uh, Darnassus. So if you have other ways to get there, I mean, take it from Theramore. That's probably the best way, or maybe even the boat to Ratchet. But anyhow, we now approach Thunder Bluff. Yes, Thunder Bluff, not Thunder Totem. And the person's kind of like in the middle. This was probably the easiest one to get to out of all of the ones up to this point. Um, guards I didn't really have too much of a problem with. But there's that guy. This Torn here, he's like geared to the teeth. He takes 99% less damage from anything that you do. So, sap, pickpocket. And I was like, okay, what does this key do? Oh, this key gets rid of his armor. And you can use it while you're in stealth, just so you know. And from there, it's a matter of bursting him down. I would recommend using a stun if you have something to not let him get too far. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of guards, and you don't want those guards to face you. Um, I had two, but luckily, uh, these particular guards, uh, they run away when you vanish. They don't actually chase you. So, way to go Torrin for being blind, I guess. And the Forsaken just not taking anybody's crap. And they, they just know too many rogues. I don't know. But you can get out of here and fly. The next one to go to is Orgrimmar. Uh, Orgrimmar, that one, you're either going to live or you're going to die. But it's relatively simple to get uh, done and out, as you'll see here as we get to it. Um, it is the final stop that you have for the rogue quest here, which is actually kind of fun. I enjoy the uh, class mount that you get with the rogues. So... I don't think I fast forwarded through this flying. No, I don't see any cuts. So, enjoy the beautiful view of, where am I here? The Barrens, yeah, the Barrens. Going towards uh, Northern Barrens up to Durotar. I've played a lot of Ford. I've actually been playing a WoW, WoW for a long time, but I generally enjoy playing my Alliance characters. But, alright, so, oh, i got a little ways to go still, and as we get to this place, I guess one of the things to reflect on with this particular setup with the rogue quest was that it was actually really cool. Um, it felt very roguish to have to go in and assassinate people in the Horde territory, and vice versa, the Horde having to go into a lance territory, it very much seemed like something that you would do uh, as rogues, which I was actually quite happy with. I mean, I've been playing rogue forever and a day, um, probably since I think I really seriously started playing a rogue and Burning Crusade. Um, you know, server swap went up. But anyway, it felt very roguish to have to go in and assassinate people. And the mount, I feel like that the rogues got, it kind of makes sense um, from a lore standpoint. But in the same time, I mean... It is a shadow, shadow raven, so shadow syndicate raven sort of thing, which is kind of cool looking. You'll see it at the end of this video a little bit. And even at, I always say this, even at 310 flying speed, it just never seems like you're flying fast enough. And I like this mount. I actually enjoy the fact that I got the moose before they took it out of the game for the... Was it Archimonde and Hellfire Citadel? At the end, you had to kill him on heroic difficulty or mythic difficulty. I don't remember which one it was. And uh, could get yourself a moose. The current mooses are cool. Mooses? Is that how you say plural for moose? Mooses? Mises? No, Mises are, I don't know, mice. Anyway, into Orgrimmar. So, as I got into Orgrimmar, I was like, all right, so where's this? As you fly into Orgrimmar, you need to, obviously, from the Alliance standpoint, if you've ever had to fly through Orgrimmar is watch for the uh, was it Wyvern Riders, the ones, the Riven Riders that are up top, so watch out for them and stealth mode, a little too high uh, but I decided to drop in from a little higher because the fact being Orgrimmar is very 
very populated, usually and busy. And as I looked around, I'm like, okay, where is our target? And it turns out that the target is actually an auction uh, goblin inside of this place. But it took me a couple of minutes to look around, and I was trying to scope out and debate, am I going to get ganked? You know, one night elf, one rogue versus a lot of people. I found that this spot here was actually decent. I am sorry for all of you that maybe use this spot in the future, watching this video and the horde now camp you. But this was the best hiding spot that I had at the time from sight and view. So anyway, moving on. As we go forward, I was looking out watching guards. I think a rogue had just did the exact same thing that I did. And the guards were running back into place or they were chasing them. I don't remember what it was. But also a couple of horde were now chasing and looking for this person. So I was like, I think I'm going to wait. I'm not going to just run in there and get you know, hammered by this horde. So, giving it a couple of minutes here, and that's a very big yak. Um, kind of just wanted to scope out and see maybe the person died and didn't kill the person, you know? It's a PvE server, like nobody's really going to attack me. But you do have those players that will uh, kind of just, in the true spirit of faction pride, take you out no matter if you're on a PvE or PvP server or not. I mean, I do it. If someone's in my home city, I'm just going to straight up gank them. Um, but as we... Okay, she'll respawned, and I wanted to kind of sneaky look around, get a view, figured... All right, so there it is right there. This person only has a couple of health. All you got to do is just hit them with an ambush or some sort of thing and then use a uh, finisher, and you're done and out. And if you can... I used Vanish, and the guards did not uh, take the Vanish away, so in tr true rogue oh shit fashion, I tried to use it again, that didn't work, and so let's run back to my little cubby spot, thinking I can get away, because maybe this will work. Um, it did not. They continued to fight me. I was debating on just dying, but then I was like, you know what? I got gear. Let's do this. Hit my AoE ability and a couple other things and try to stay alive with the trinket and there was this horde over there i was just expecting them to come and kill me I'm like they are gonna murder me they're gonna take advantage and one hit me like i do to somebody and they didn't i was grateful and i expect them even to come and run around here they didn't I was like all right sweet i'm out so mounted and flew out i love this i just got this mount actually recently finally the time uh oh what is it the time thing i'm a jigger time dragon but anyway, so then it sends you from that point back to the order hall. And from there, it's that's pretty much it. I mean, you go kill those four people. Um, that's the way that I did it. And the best places and ways that I found to do it. And there may be other videos that are that way. Uh, but when I first had went to make this, I was looking for it. And everything was from the Horde's perspective going into the Alliance places. Uh, they probably, I didn't watch all of them because I was like, well, they're all going and killing the Alliance people. I need to know how to kill the Horde people. So hopefully this helps people that are doing it on the Alliance side uh, so that they can see exactly how this rogue uh, quest works out and this guide works out. And I definitely, you know, I'm glad that I had thought about doing this like after I died twice. I'm like, you know, maybe after I looked up the guide, I should do this. So I did, and I'm uh, kind of glad that I did to share it with you. But hopefully this is helpful for you all, and until next time, this is SpexSS7, and you guys uh, stay chill.